yes this is the starting of the session so today we are under day 4 and the date is 27 123 now so first to five minutes i will give you a brief discussion on what happened in the last three sessions why because some new members are joined in the offline also that is the reason so on the first today that is on 24th we discussed the concept introduction what is mean by introduction introduction in the sense what is python why we are using python what are the areas that is applications of python what is mean by a language how to uh, how to write a program and what are the different programming languages how to convert one programming into another programming the basic part remember the thing this basic part is related to all the programming languages so after completion of this session if you have any doubt meanwhile please follow the recorded videos we will share the i already shared the recorded videos after visiting the recorded videos again you have a doubt no problem ask me in the next section after completion of the video if you have doubt ask me in the next session we are always here to clarify your doubts once we know the basic details then we are moved to this session what happens in this session in this session mainly we discuss the installation that means we need to execute python java c a software is required for execution right so installation of ide the python software where we are executing our python program so installation is done successfully after installation we discussed three basic building blocks identifiers keywords variables after completion that is some basic idea not the complete idea in the day two what we have learned in day two we will learn simple basic idea that is enter into the program just to enter into the program on day three i entered into the program here i am trying to enter here on day three i entered into the program once i entered i am knowing the different concepts data types numbers that means data type that is the very very important point data type what the data type so the type of data that is stored in a variable the type of data stored in a variable that data types are specified the data types are specified now i am moving into the today topic so in the last session my last topic is data type numbers yes numbers under numbers what we discussed we discussed integer flow to decimal sorry complex flow to complex now my first one is completed my second data type is boolean my second data type is boolean from now onwards this is your class here your class starts boolean data type what is mean by boolean here integer is a variable hold whole numbers a variable holds real number is called floating a variable hold complex number that is called complex data type similarly boolean means a variable can hold two values true or false here what is the boolean boolean in the sense true or false what is the data type here this is the name this is not the data type here the data type is b o o l bool here integer generally we are called as integer floating complex but coming to data type the names are into flow to complex here the data type is bool b o o l bool now i will execute this one also a greater than b for example assume the statement we already know mathematically suppose we don't know a 5 greater than 2 we know condition what is the greater than checking whether 5 is greater than 2 or not. normal mathematical here the output is if 5 greater than 2 what is the output true suppose 5 less than 3 4 the answer is false 
here these true or false are called boolean data type how can we assign a value like this see this one a is equal to true here the most important point is in python the t must to be upper case must to be upper case why in java lower case is also possible but in python in the true t must to be upper case now what is the function to know type what is the function i already discussed the name of the function is type type of a so what is the type see this one the type is boolean now here observe f is also capital L. both true and false t and f are upper case for example if i give to small t observe the statement here i am given small t press enter see this one it gives a name error name true is not defined here their meaning is true is also considered as a variable for example what is that one a is equal to 5 b is equal to a if you have the statement like this a is equal to 5 b is equal to a what is the meaning the value of a is assigned to b right or wrong we already discussed in the last class a and b are variables so the value of a is assigned to b is assigned to b now okay b also got the value 5 here now understand what is the meaning of this one system consider t r u e true as a variable the value of variable true is to be assigned to a but up to now we are are we defined true no that is the reason it gives name error or else check this one a is equal to c already the variable a is existed is the variable c is existed right now up to now we are not using the variable c but we are trying to assign the value of c to the variable a the value of c to the variable a enter see this one we are getting the same error name error that is name c is not defined name c is not defined like this true is also considered as a variable remember what is my first one under this class under this data type boolean this is important again under boolean what we have true capital p and false okay now the four basic data types integer flow to complex boolean these are called basic data types remember the word those are called basic data types so why i am using the word basic remember without knowing these data type it is not possible to move on further so compulsory you know this one why these are called basic data type in the sense without these data types it is not possible to construct any data type and one more point is these basic data types hold only single value right or wrong here the integer hold one value float hold one value complex hold one value even boolean also takes one value that is the basic data types are also termed as primitive data type this is another name the basic data types another name is primitive data type the main important point is they hold only a single value without this it is not possible to move further okay okay i think this is clear the basic data types now i am moving into the advanced data types today our aim is to discuss this advanced data types what are those one first i will write down the categorization string list tuple dictionary set these are the advanced data types 
remember these five are hot to the python programming without these five it is not possible to write a program it is not possible to implement a single project these five plays very very crucial role each one takes approximately two to three days of time each one suppose coming to concept of string string is completed two to three days list is completed two to three days history is completed like this so each one takes our entire syllabus among the entire syllabus these five things takes a lot of time once you understand these five things in depth then it is very easy the remaining concepts now in this session i am not explaining in detail if you want to know in detail you need another topics also everyone is interrelated everyone is interrelated here what you have to know is you are learning the interrelation first i will give you a basic idea what is a string here i am given just to a basic idea what is a string string is simply a group of characters string is simply a group of characters or a sequence of characters not only that one that are placed inside quotations string is a group of characters that are enclosed within quotation that is called a string suppose series one s is equal to here a is equal to five we are assigning an integer value to a in the same fashion assume s is my string s is equal to within quotation here i am using the word quotation so how many quotations we have in whenever you check the keyboard we have two types of quotations one is single quotation second one is double quotation which one you have to use you can use anything remember this is in python only coming to c language there is lot of difference coming to c language you can use only double quotation single quotations are used for characters okay coming to python you can use any quotation welcome this is a string now s is equal to uh, for example welcome 99 this is also a string this is also a string now observe observe here carefully 9 9 this is an integer even though the number looks like an integer what is this one this is a string this is a string now i will show you what is today session here i will show you just to what is what and how to create just to what and how just to only the things now coming to this one first i am creating a string s1 so you can give any name based on the rules of identifier always remember whenever you are giving a name you have to follow the rules of identifier i already said what are the rules of identifier for example if i am using this one 123 is equal to hello see this one it gives an error what is error cannot assign literal maybe you mean that means it is an error why i already said in the first session identifier does not begin with a digit identifier means a name here it begins with a digit that is the reason it gives an error okay now coming to this topic s1 is equal to welcome to python whatever the string you can write any string in single quotation s1 is equal to welcome to python in single quotation here what happens a string is created a string is created check print of s1 whatever we are reading the answer is printed here in the time of printing quotations are not required automatically this is a string without quotations the answer is printed okay this is my first step how to create a string creation of a string in single quotation now s2 is equal to for example welcome to java for example welcome to java 
here i am given in double quotation see there is no error print of s2 now see this one welcome to java that means the two ways are one is single quotation second one is double quotation we have third type also but in our keyboard that is not visible i will show you for example s3 is equal to here you can use as a single or double welcome to or a simple my message is i want to create a string hello how are you that is my string here observe in single line i am creating a string in double quotation also i am creating a string in single line that means you are creating a string in only one line suppose if you want to create a string in more than one line see how to more than one line after hello press enter automatically it gives an error it is it does not takes what is an error syntax error understand the error incomplete input observe incomplete here we open the bracket and does not close the sorry open the quotation does not close the quotation you got it that means by using single quotation and double quotation we are reading the string in a single line now my third point is triple quotations but in the keyboard there is no triple quotations you can use like this one two three three single quotations here you can read the string in any number of lines or not only triple single quotations you can write triple double quotations also you got my point you can use either single triple quotations or single double triple quotation some s3 is equal to now 1 2 3 hello enter see this one even though i presented it does not give error dot 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 what is the meaning of dot 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 here you can enter some statement the meaning is so text to mode hit mode so hello how again entered or again entered you close 1 2 3 now print s3 okay whatever the string you read simply the same format that means you create a string in a single line or multi line that multi line term is very important so how to read a multi line string that is a regular question we are reading a multi line string by using triple quotations suppose i will give you one more example s4 is equal to 1 2 3 here i am using triple double quotations hello good morning close now print s4 okay hello good morning now my first step and my first data type is completed now check type type of s1 what is the type of s1 s1 is which type string type so the data type name string is a general term we are using integer but the data type is int we are using the term boolean but the data type is bool similarly string the data type is remember str only str the data type is str remember this one that the str term is very very important okay now so i think this is okay my first step is that is my first data type string is completed not in detail what is the thing what is a string how to create a string remaining operations i am not discussed right now now what is my second data type my next data type is list here observe the point string list to tuple dictionary set to all five are collection of elements that means it can hold not a single value observe in the previous case hello how are you approximately 20 numbers that is 20 letters are stored that means they can store some set of elements they can store some group of elements in the normal integers only one value you got the difference again i am explaining the difference observe suppose a is equal to 
a is an integer variable how many values it store one value suppose s is equal to welcome how many values it have remember generally it looks like one but it is not one it has one two three four five six seven seven letters are stored okay so generally these data types are used to hold multiple values coming to list then in list you will get the clear idea list is also a collection of elements list is also a collection or group of elements of of any data type what is mean by any data type that means a list can hold integer elements a list can hold float elements list can hold complex elements list can hold even strings also a list can hold another list also that means list can store any type of elements that is a list that is a sequence how can we create a list here we are using quotations similarly for creating a list we are using square bracket remember so only remember this one list is a collection of elements it can store element of any data type any data type in the sense heterogeneous it is opposite to arrays in c language you know array concept array stores only same data type elements it is exactly reverse but the remaining operations looks like array so here the elements are stored within square bracket and the elements are separated by comma for example 11 comma 12 comma 13 14 15 here you can store any number of elements any number of elements now before creating a list i explain one example len is the function we have a function len which is used the name specifies which is used to get the length length means the number of elements suppose len of s1 now see this one the answer is 17. now you got it that is the s1 string not stores only a single value it stores a total of 17 characters the string s1 stores total of 17 characters you got it that means these hold multiple values now l1 is equal to here i am creating a list 11 comma 12 comma 13 comma 14 comma 15 a list is created remember how except string list to tuple set to dictionary all the four cases the elements are separated by comma the elements are separated by comma now print l1 so whatever we are reading exactly the same thing is displayed now i am explaining one more example what i said l2 that is a list can store elements of any data type right so in the previous example i given only integers you assume that it stores only integers no elements of any data type for example level first i store an integer integer now for example some 2.34 that is a floating value 2 plus 3j a complex number and true a boolean value and we already know string also hello a string a list is created see this one a list is created you got it that means a list can store elements of any data type elements of any data type what is the length of a list we will calculate 1 2 3 four five hello is considered as a single element you assume that string hello means five letters so the length of list is uh, for one two three four plus five nine no this is considered as a single element what is what i said the elements are separated by comma that is one comma to another comma whatever it present that is a single element blindly remember this is my first element comma second element comma third element comma fourth element comma 
and this one is a one element five so now check what is the length of l2 five that is one two three four five okay the list is completed list is completed now my next one is tapul what is my data type tapul so tapul is exactly same as list the definition is everything is same collection of elements of any data type collect tuple is also a collection of elements of any data type everything is same here simple difference is remember not l not t not s you can use a variable names any for example this is the list i am using l string in the sense s tuple in the sense i am using the term t you can use any variable only difference actually two differences between list and tuple first i will explain one only here tuple the elements are placed inside parentheses the elements are placed inside parentheses suppose 11 comma 12 comma 13.4 comma true like this exactly list and tuple looks like same a list can hold elements of any data type tuple also holds elements of any data type one difference is not one difference we have another difference that is a very very important difference but right now that is not required one basic difference is in list the elements are placed in square bracket in tuple the elements are placed in parentheses now before going to that one i will show you type of l2 what is the type of l2 list directly the name is list directly the name is list now create a tuple t1 how i am creating observe in parentheses the brackets square bracket parentheses bracket flower brackets that is important t1 is equal to 12 comma 13.4 comma if previously i written true suppose false comma good whatever it is so this is considered as a tuple print t1 so our tuple is created what is the type type of t1 so t1 type is a tuple we have lot of differences so the differences comes under mutable immutable we have an additional topic of mutability and immutability the differences are occurred based on this one you have a quick doubt what is that one what is the difference here this is also same this is also same both are used both are storing collection of elements and both store any data type here list to store five elements tuple also store five elements list to store elements of any data type even tuple also store any elements of any data type then what is the need of two only one thing is sufficient no there is a difference in terms of another topic mutability and immutability right now i am not discussing why right now our concept is uh, the basic introduction now so here we have space what is the next data type the next data type is set the order is not at all important dictionary for example i am moving it to set the next data type is set here the elements are placed within flower brackets the elements are placed in flower brackets so only three brackets we have three brackets are completed list to square bracket tuple parenthesis set the elements are square bracket here also same set can store elements of any data type set can store elements of any data type for example sc1 this is my set 11 comma 12 comma 13 comma 14 comma 2.3 elements of any data type simply print sc1 sc1 here observe the output carefully here once see the screen in list one what is the values i given the values 11 12 13 14 15 i given the values what is the output i got the output exactly what i am given the order preserving the term is called preserve preserve means in which order i given the value i produces the values in the same order and tuple 
exactly i given the values in this order i got the output also in this order so the meaning is insertion order preserved insertion order preserved means in which order we entered the value the elements are stored in the tuple or in the list in the same order but coming to set here observe i am given the values in this order but observe the output the order is changed the order is changed but that is set does not follow the insertion order they can take the values in any order any order okay now so string is completed string is completely different now list to tuple set is completed here before going to dictionary i will explain only two points what is my first point my first point is insertion order you got this point so this two tuple follows the insertion order set does not follow the insertion order and the most most important point is this is a very very important the concept of duplicates now the question is up to now we are creating a list to tuple set to any duplicate element is there 11 12 13 14 15 duplicate no so there is no duplicate element now it is is it possible to place duplicate elements or not check l3 is equal to 11 12 13 11 12 here duplicate occur or not yes 100% it is possible remember in the list and tuple we can place duplicate elements also not a problem print l3 not a problem in which order whatever the order we are given exactly stored in the given order and the duplicates are also allowed now finally sorry not finally before that one tuple also 11 12 13 11 so see this one here in the tuple also duplicates are allowed so those two are not at all important coming to the concept of duplicate those two are not at all important now create a set s e2 is equal to 11 12 13 14 11 12 observe this is the very very important now here we are writing the duplicates even though you are writing the duplicates in the set it does not produce any error but set automatically removes all the duplicate elements very 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 required in case of you are doing the programming related to duplicates no need to check each and every element how many number of times the element is repeated no need to check in c c++ java removal of duplicates is approximately takes 6 to 7 lines by using two for loops but in python in c c++ java two for loops five lines of code lot of time is required but in python no need print sc2 automatically all the duplicates are removed okay set does not contain duplicate elements even though you are given duplicate elements automatically remove here one important point is what is length of sc2 here i given sc2 is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 elements my assumption is length of sc2 is 6 but is 6 no the every function is calculated after removing the duplicates automatic process automatic in the sense user no need to do anything Once we are creating in flower brackets, automatically they are removed. That is the reason the length is four. Okay. Now final step. What is my final for any function? Type of S E two. What is the type? Set. The type is set. Now. So the last point for the today session. What is that one? Dictionary. it is completely different to remaining three tuple list set to is very very easy dictionary is somewhat different dictionary is our regular life dictionary so if you want to search for a word how do we search a word we are searching a word based on the alphabet for example a 
so we are opening the a pages under a again a b a b c like this in dictionary up to now element in the sense 11 is one element 12 is one element 3 13 is element element in the sense it is as one value but in dictionary element is called a pair element is termed as a pair what is a pair key colon value remember the thing how what is a dictionary each and every element in the previous case each and every element is represented as a single value but coming to dictionary each and every element is represented as a pair pair in the sense what is mean by pair pair in the sense two terms so the two terms are the first one is called key how do we represent a pair key colon value key colon value comma for example key 1 value 1 comma key 2 value 2 comma key 3 value 3 like so on where these are placed remember all these are placed in flower bracket dictionary also uses flower bracket but don't confuse in set also use flower bracket but set to contain single single elements set to contains only one single value if single values in the sense that is a set if we have a pair in the sense that is dictionary for example here i am creating a dictionary d is equal to observe one colon red one colon red comma two colon blue comma three colon green here i am creating a dictionary with how many number of elements only three elements remember this is my first element this is my second element this is my third element what is the use i discuss these things whenever the concept of dictionary occurs right now my intention is just to creation now create a dictionary d is equal to one colon red comma comma always remember an element is separated by comma two colon green comma three colon blue quotation sorry flower brackets close now print the dictionary this is fine now what is the length of dictionary three what is the type remember the type is d i c t only for couple list to set to full forms but dictionary d i c t d i c t remember this only one word dictionary now remember here no need to give values 1 2 3 you can give any numbers you can give anything suppose d1 is equal to for example i can give theoretical information remember whenever you have to write a string use quotation numbers directly write here also see this one red is a string right quotation green is a string quotation blue is a string quotation here one colon uh one colon red in this what is one one is key red is value for example two colon orange here observe the combinations i can give any combination suppose here five colon some 50 file this is my dictionary here in this one no number two string five are the keys print d1 exactly always remember whether it is a list in the list also i am creating a string right list also i am creating a string whether it is a list to tuple or set to or dictionary at any place if you are writing a string write inside quotation which quotation single or double you can use anything your wish even though you are using double quotation system takes as a single quotation see this one here i am using double quotation what is the output single quotation for example last point suppose you are given s is welcome if you directly print yes observe answer is welcome in single quotation by default whatever the quotation you are given system takes as the single quotation so this is our today's topic what is the topic after this basic data types we discussed the data types string list tuple
dictionary set. So what is a data type? How to create? So once we understand this basic idea right now, we are in a position to read different types of information. Now what is my next session? My next session is reading information from the user. That is input function. After that output function. What is a program? Program in the sense simply we are providing some input, perform some operation, produce a, some output. Right or wrong? So what is my next step? We know the basic terms for performing operation. Next to my step is I have to know how do we provide the input. After taking the input, by using these basic points, I am performing some simple operation. Based on this one, I am performing execution. That is producing output. That is my agenda of next session. Okay. So if you are endorsing this session, please ask me.